Hello everyone, this is Endgame Mark, we're doing another box and a breakdown and a demo. This is Kingdom Come Deliverance, the Royal Edition for the PlayStation 4. They jump right into it. There was a ginormous size update to download. Now, this the update needs to have a little bit of explanation now. Uh, the, the first, when I first updated the game, which took me to 1.03, which was 20 gigabytes big, but as I got done downloading that update, another update popped up that was take up to 1.04, that was 12 gigabytes big. So, in total, it was around 32 gigabytes of updates, just for just updates. The game takes up around 32 gigabytes, so just the game, and then it has another update that's the exact same size of the base game on disc. Very, very upsetting with that. Because they could have put all of it on two discs. Nextly, the game does have all currently released DLCs on disc as well. It comes with Treasures of the Past, From the Ashes, Band of Bastards, and the Armorous Adventures of ba Bold Sir Hans Korpan. And as well as comes with the Woman's Lot DLC. All on disc. Now, the Woman's Lot DLC is on disc. And there is no redeem code or any vultures or anything like that. But the game must be updated first before you can play the Woman's Lot DLC. Don't worry, it's on there, but you gotta update the game first. This is very disappointing because, like I said, with the game being uh, 32 gigabytes big and having a 32 gigabyte update, it would have just been amazing if they've made two discs, like a, which comes the standard, which I hold all games to the standard now, so you can no longer hide underneath the 50 gigabyte limit anymore. And it would have just been nice to have it all on disc. So it's very disappointing in that field. Now, I know it took a long time to do this video. I know a lot of people have been waiting for it. And I got held up multiple reasons. Uh, but I finally sat down and tried to play it. And the problem was, it what took me so long was that I had a hard time getting into the game. The game is an open world game like you're typically would you expect. And you play as a peasant, and a, black, a blacksmith's son. And you try to avenge your family. I don't want to get into uh, spoilers too much. But the game takes place in a realistic historical uh, effects around the world. These are like real places, real locations, and real people sometimes you can actually meet. The story isn't exactly, how do you say, historically accurate, but the events and stuff like that, and people and stuff like that, all take place in real life. So it's kind of cool, as well as it has a really immersive environment like they speak like in medieval times religion's a big part in this times it just has a big immersion in that field and it has a big effect on charisma and character build by this i mean that how you talk to people how do you chat how do you look how do you dress yourself will in fact affect how you interact with other people in terms of nobles and just your commoners so this is actually really cool it gives a lot of immersion to the game that you must make sure you keep yourself clean then you don't smell you got to wash yourself you got to make sure how you talk to people the game has a big immersion in that field where it's all about the interactions with the characters now the combat does introduce a new kind of concept site it's still your typical first person combat kind of block and attack but they introduce a new kind of tactical way where you got to attack at certain angles and patterns and mix up your attack and look for weaknesses in people's and people's attacks and this what their weakness area is I thought they introduced it at least something new and I thought they did a pretty good job in this area now lock picking is my biggest gripe in the game right now I mean, the game with the update does fix the lock picking they do have a simplified locking picking mechanism even with but without this update you're stuck with the hardest lock picking system i have ever came across the even on the very easy difficulty locks i could not unlock them for the life of me i could not figure it out i tried and tried and tried but man oh man if you're gonna be playing this game you're definitely gonna regret trying to do the lock picking in the game now again though like i said if you update the game they do have an update that will make the, it easier you just gotta switch it in the options as I said, the game has that irritations, and it does have some bit of roughness around it. Like, the game can be sometimes sluggish, the load times can take a while, even just open up your inventory or just going into a chat, it can take a long time. As I saw, it has ginormous amounts of updates and bug fixes. Now, as I said, I could not ultimately get into the game. I didn't get ultimately that far, but I do have a brother, and he played a mass majority of the game even playing it with updated and he had he said that he came across many game times the game has crashed on him quests would not appear anymore and items were not able to be obtained as well as just saying it was very slow and low time seemed to cut build up and take much longer just doing the basic of things so 
from his experience and my experience, we both agree that Kingdom Come Deliverance is an amazing immersive game. But it's just got a lot of things that holds it back. Like I said, like mechanic wise and so forth. But it has a lot of great ideas. And its time setting is really refreshing and new and fun in that area. The best description I can give it from my experience with it is like Banner Saga. As another trilogy uh, game series I could not get into. I loved its story, I loved its characters, I loved its music and environments and its immersion of its world. But its gameplay and its just tediousness just what's what held it back the most. It's like this game. I would have probably really enjoyed it if it was more of an interactive movie game experience where you just make dialogue exchanges and talk and do certain interactions and so forth without having this giant open world so forth and have to deal with the combat system, all the forging and open world traveling and stuff like that. I just That was not fun for me and I got really bored with the game really quickly. Again, I'm sorry this was not as a depth review in terms of my whole my experience with the game was. I think the game is neat. I think it has prom promise, but just for what it is, it has a lot of uh, work to be done. Even with the 32 gigabytes, I still have read that people still experience with bugs and even having their saves get corrupted. I mean, again, it's just really, really rough, but their idea is amazing. I give them credit for at least trying something new and not embracing the more realistic world, where it's now dragons and magics and sci-fi. It's a real place, real world, and real life setting. I think this is actually deserves some praise in that field. And like I said, I think the game was neat. I give it that, but ultimately, I could not get into it. You might have a different feeling about it. You may even enjoy this game. I know some people who actually highly praise this game, and I mean that's all for you. That's that's great by me. Just me personally, I could not and get into it. Now, would you should pick up the Royal Edition? With the, the amount of gigabytes updates and so forth, and just the fact that, I mean, like I said, it's even with it, it's still pretty buggy and rough on around the edges. It's really up to you. I do have to recommend if you do pick it up, you're going to need to probably consider downloading this update, though. Those updates. If you want to make sure you have a good, smooth experience with the game. Because you might come across huge game-breaking bugs and so forth. So, like always, I will leave links down in the description if you're interested copy. Again, like I said, it comes with all the DLC on disc. But sadly, Woman's Lot does need to be... The game does need to be updated first before you can play Woman's Lot. So... But at least you can play all the other DLCs without needing to be updated. So there's that. So thank you all for watching. Hit that like, subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in my next episode. Bye bye. By the way, I heard some gossip about what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something about it. Maybe. Maybe. Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime washed house, maybe. And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Oh, got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody. Least of all the King. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. Well, so you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of the king? Does that boy ever listen to a word I say? So Deutsch spouts rubbish. So what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth, not your fists. <laughs>